What's up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your ninth tutorial in robotics and electronics. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys about something called LEDs. Now what LED stands for is light emitting diode. And it's pretty much a fancy word for mini light bulb. Now, uh, here's what they look like right here. Let me see if I can get it to zoom in. Right there, that's what they are. And as you can probably tell already, they come in a whole bunch of different sizes and shapes. Now, when you're gonna look for LEDs, you're gonna see something like, um, the most common type is called T1 and 3 quarters. Now, let me break down and tell you guys what this stands for. The T in the most common name is, let me show you guys one more time. It stands for the shape of the LED. Now, what T means is you see how these aren't square or anything, they're kind of bullet shaped? That's what the T means. Anytime you see a T, it means your LED is going to be bullet shaped. Now, they also come in different sizes, such as this. Let me show you guys. Hopefully you guys can see that. Now this is a T1, the smaller one. And this is a T1 and 3 quarters. And what those numbers mean is the size of an LED is measured in 1 eighth of an inch. So whenever you see one um, or one and three quarters, that's in reference to how many eighths of an inch that is. And I know it's a really odd standard, but that's just what it is. I can't change it. They actually started putting uh, the millimeters, so uh, that might help you figure out when you're buying LEDs and stuff like that. But remember, whenever you see a, a letter and a number, it's usually the shape and the size of the diameter. Now, aside from this, there are also different types of LEDs. You have your clear LEDs, which is pretty much the glass around it is clear, like uh, glass you'd have in your windows. You have white diffused, and what this means is the glass is kind of white and diffused. I don't know if you can figure that out. And it's kind of like milky or foggy or kind of like wax paper kind of. that can kind of transparent. And lastly, the ones I showed you right here, you also have colored and they come in a bunch of different colors and of course whenever you see colored it means it's colored plain and simple now the last thing I want to talk to you guys about before you go hooking up your LEDs in any direction they aren't like resistors where it doesn't matter what end you connect to what end these have a very specific positive and negative end and um, I don't know if I told you guys this in any of the last tutorials but the negative end is called the cathode and the positive end is called the anode. Now what the cat well let me show you guys. As you guys can see, you have a longer and a shorter um what they're called leads. And the shorter one is called the cathode, and that's the negative. The longer one, which is right there, that's called the anode, and the longer one is the positive in all LEDs. Now you guys can't probably see even with my magnificent zoom in, but on the cathode side, which is the negative, when it when you look at this, it's going to look like it's perfectly round, but actually there's a little flat notch right there on the cathode side, and that's a different way that you can tell uh, which side is positive and which side is negative. So again, the cathode, which is negative, is shorter and it has a notch. The anode, which is positive, is longer, no notch, rounded on the side. So that's your uh, quick tutorial on LEDs. Um, what you probably want to do is go out and buy an assortment pack. And uh, this should give you all the LEDs you're going to work, wor work with. And uh, that will give you all that. When I'm going through these tutorials, you have a wide assortment. So um, that's pretty much it. So in the next tutorial, we're actually going to be building our first circuit. And I'm going to teach you guys how to use all the components I taught you guys about so far. And we're actually going to be lighting these babies up. So don't forget to watch my next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.